hey y'all ariel here welcome back to my channel so today i'll be achieving this super cute holiday pink glam makeup look let's get started so we have a fresh face because period okay we love a fresh face now to get this makeup started i went ahead and did my brows off camera i have some concealer left over on my hand and i'm just going to use those concealers to base my lid for the eyeshadow I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys several looks for the holidays because you don't always have to do an everyday beat. You can do colors, like plain color and still make it elegant. Pinks, blues, reds. It really doesn't matter as long as you like it, okay? So I'm going to take the Juvia's Place, the Candy Shop Collection, and I'm focusing on that column right there of the pink. I'm going to start off with this fuchsia shade. It's super duper bright and pigmented, and I absolutely love that, okay? Y'all know I love me some color. Never be afraid to play in colors because like that's how you're gonna catch the eye like somebody's gonna come up to you and be like oh i like your eyes i love them like it never fails okay so we're just gonna tap 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 pet 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 swiper no swiping this took me no time to do y'all like literally i was probably done in like 35 minutes 35 40 minutes only because i was recording so just imagine if you're actually doing these holiday looks. It's not going to take you any time because we only use two colors. And as you can see, I am shooketh, okay? I love Juvia's Place. That will never, ever change. Like, the quality is so bomb. And like, what? Do you see that? Yeah. So we just did those two shadows and that was it. I closed everything off with the first shade that we used just so it would look more put together. And I also did a wing. I'm going to use my Sephora liquid liner. I ended up going to Sephora and they had some in stock. I was so happy. I only got two because I didn't want to be selfish. Okay. But it's time for me to go back and get like two more. That way I'll know like, okay, yeah, I'm not going to run out. Okay, so now that we have the wing, it's nice and snatched because period, okay? I'm going to go ahead and coat the lashes with my Milk Makeup Mascara. And I'm going to go ahead and prep my lashes. That way, whenever I'm ready to apply them, they can be already tacky. And the style I'll be using is Hip to My Lou. All right, so now that I have my lashes applied, I'm going to take this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer to prime my face. I did moisturize off camera. And I'm just going to take this Japanese brush and we're just going to blend and tap that primer into the skin. For concealer, I'm going to take my Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Butterscotch as well as e.l.f. the Hydrate and Camo Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. So I'm starting off with my concealer first instead of foundation. I feel like this is my favorite method when it comes down to the face application because, I don't know, it's just easier to blend when you do your concealer first and then foundation. And plus, you don't have to use foundation all over the place. Like, the concealer is going to be where the concealer needs to be. And then the foundation is just going to fall along in line to where, you know, you get what I'm saying. And lately, I've been using this paintbrush from Moderna just to actually apply my concealer. And then I use another Moderna to apply the foundation. They're small and compact, so it just helps with actually placement like the placement of everything, it helps me to have that product and quality control. So now I'm gonna take this puffer and just blend this concealer out. I did go overboard with my concealer, as you can see. Concealer spray is a good bit, y'all. So 
a little bit goes a long way use a little bit blend it and then if you feel like you need some more add a little bit more and blend so on and so forth so for foundation i took my fenty foundation i never ever used that foundation but it's so it's so red so i would have to actually neutralize it which is why i use the makeup by mario and as you can see it is a little rich in color but trust the process because that concealer is very bright so both those shades are gonna balance each other out Okay, so now that I have the concealer and foundation blended, I'm going to take my ABH. This is the loose setting powder in the shade Deep Peach. And we're going to lock that concealer area in place. So as you can see, it's slowly but surely coming together. You always want to trust the process whenever you're doing your makeup. Now I'm going to bake with the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder. Tap, 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 pet, 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 swiper, no swiping. I kind of want this to kind of sit on top of the surface. Like, I don't want to blend it out too, too soon. So we're going to bake it just to give that baby doll effect to my eyes. Like, I don't know. I just feel like when you're baking, it's just going to lift your face up a bit. And I also put it on the bridge of my nose. And now I'm going in and just blending the foundation areas out. As I'm blending, I'm using the pressed powder from Maybelline in the shade 360. And now I'm going to use my Juvia's Place blush. This is volume 4. And I'm using both of those pink shades. I ended up using some more of the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder just to kind of balance everything out. I felt like it was clashing a little bit. So, yeah. Now I'm taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and I also took this, it's like a liquid glitter eyeshadow from e.l.f. And then I blend everything out and used a light pink shade from out the Candy Shop Collection eyeshadow palette. We added some more mascara and we're almost done y'all. This was such a quick and simple look, I kid you not, like super quick and super easy but it still gives, you know? So I lined my lips with a dark brown pencil from Absolute New York. And because I'm doing a pink look, I wanted pink lips. I'm using the Airy Winkle lipstick in the style Gossip. I also make sure to always use chapstick. I never really show that on camera, but before I use a matte lipstick or a lipstick in general, I always make sure to moisturize my lips. That, that way your lipstick doesn't crack throughout the day. And now I'm taking some clear gloss to apply on top of the liner. Then I took a more pinky glittery shade lip gloss. Both of these are from Essence. I think Essence is now in CVS instead of Ulta, y'all. Unless like you order online. But yeah, I really love their concealers and their lip liners as well as their lip glosses. I felt like I needed to add a little extra oomph to my eyes. So I went in with the pink eyeshadow, the first transition shade that we used. And that was it, you guys. This was super quick, super simple and easy. A very cute, elegant holiday glam you can wear out and about, okay? So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave me a pink heart and a cute message or whatever, okay? Because period. This is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye, y'all.